answers a problem. This is written um, in the way that the Honors Algebra 2 Trig book in 2014 is written. And so it's a little bit different than other books. So if you're watching my other videos, you might look a little bit different, but you're doing the same thing. In fact, I like this better because right here that shows you your vertical shift. Usually people write that out here, but in that book they write it in front. No, no different. Here's your amplitude. Here is your, um, your period is related to 2 pi over b, so it's 2 pi over pi over 4, which equals just 8. So your period is just 8. And then already they've, they've got this factored out. This b is already factored out, which means this is just your horizontal shift. So to me, this is a little bit easier of a, of a way to do this. Alright, so remember the, the way that I like to go through doing these problems is first deal with the vertical stuff. So I'm going to start with my vertical shift which is up 3. So I'm going to go, notice how I didn't put my Y axis on here because the horizontal shift is going to mess that up. So I'm going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3, so there right there is my center line. I call it my center line. It's not really an axis of symmetry because the sine and cosine graphs, they're not symmetric horizontally, but it's kind of like the center where you're, remember, your sine graph, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five points like that. And that's your center line right there. It helps you know where to, where to, where your points are going when you get to that. All right. Now I'm going to use my amplitude. I'll use green for this. I'm going to use my amplitude right here, which is positive 5, which means I'm going to go up 5 from that center line. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So right there is my the top of my graph. And down 5 from there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That negative 2 is, my, is the bottom line of my graph. So all five of my points are going to be on one of those three dotted lines all five of those points that I showed you before one two three four five and I know I'm going up first because it's a positive five so it's going to look like that somewhere but now let's deal with our period our period is eight I'll do this in um, gold my period is eight which means one eight I'm sorry, 0 and 8. That's my total period. And then notice that I've got 4 in the middle of that. 2 would be here, 6 would be there. So my total period is 8 units. And my horizontal shift is left, is sorry, right 3. My horizontal shift is right 3. So instead of starting at, I'm, what I do is I just do the math. This is easy because they're whole numbers. I just add 3 to all these things. So your answer really is, well, I shouldn't have done that. Your answer is, right, this is 3, 5, 7, 9, 12, no, not 12, 11, because the interval length is 2. So then what I do is I'll just go ahead and erase this right here, and I'll write in my numbers again. 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Uh, no. And I'll clean my graph up like this. And at, at this point, now that I know where those are at, now I'll draw in my vertical, my vertical axis, which is going to be right there. Because I know where that's at now. Understand? And then, Let's go ahead and use uh, purple for the point. So remember, I'm starting in the middle and ending in the middle. So that point's going to be on my graph, 3, 3, and 11, 3. Those two points are going to be on the graph, as well as 7, 3, because the two end points in the middle, very middle point, are all on the center line right here. See them right there, center line? And I go up, so that point right there, which is 5 comma 8, 5 comma 8, and this point right here, which is 9 comma negative 2. Those are my points. And so draw your graph in nice and smooth. 
and in fact keep it going. Sometimes it's good just to keep it going for a little bit. Maybe use a dotted line like that. That's how you graph it.